you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special thank you to our sponsors, Furniture Share and D. Scott Smith and the Independent Planner. For more information on Furniture Share and how they provide beds for kids and families, go to FurnitureShare.org. And for my good friend D. Scott Smith and the Independent Planner, go to Independent-Planner.com to order yours today. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. It's Christmas week. We're getting excited. A lot of people are taking time off, enjoying the holidays with their family. I'm so blessed today to have my whole family with me. Uh, I have my son and daughter-in-law here and my daughter uh, and my beautiful wife. And so what a wonderful, wonderful time. Get to spend time with the rest of my family as well uh, throughout this next week. So super excited about that. So I'm sure that many of you have got plans of your own. And it's so great that you took time to be with us today. Now, whether you're watching this live or on replay, please share it out to everybody. Tell everybody, hey, listen in. They're having so much fun on marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. In fact, the amazing, the awesome Alex Chambers is on today. Whoop, whoop. Everybody's going to want to tune in for Alex. So come on. And so anyway, share the word. I appreciate that. And thanks so much for blessing us with your time. This is Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. We are here every Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to be with you. Love to have a chance to share amazing people who connect. That is our theme amazing people who connect. You know, I am all about marketing yourself in a positive and uplifting way. And the way you market yourself is to build community and relationships, to move forward with purpose in your life, and to really work with amazing people like Alex Chambers who connect. And today we're going to have a nice chat with Alex. Before we do that, I just want to remind you that I am Russ Hedge. The easiest way to connect with me is RussHedge.com. I love people love to connect. You know, my purpose and uh, my why in life is to inspire and encourage you to live a purpose-driven life of significance. What does that mean? I want you to be a world changer. I want you to be a difference maker. I want you to do amazing things in your life. You know, a lot of people are already looking forward to 2022, and that's important to plan. But don't don't forget, we still have a couple weeks left of 2021. You can still do amazing things now. So get out there, Spend time with your family, enjoy the holidays, but do amazing things with your life. Be significant, make a difference in others' lives. And so I just want to encourage you to do that today. Uh, this Thursday coming up, we have a special Christmas special celebrating joy of the season. And you know, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, we're going to be talking all about joy and peace and love and great things throughout this season uh, that we should be sharing with other people, kindness, goodness. And so I would love for you to be there this Thursday, have a lot of friends tuning in. There will be an open link so you can come and go and you can join us. Whether you've received an official invitation or not, let me tell you now, 
This is your official invitation. You are invited. There'll be an open link. I would love to have you jump in and say hi and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, spread love and joy to everybody, whatever you want to do. So that is this Thursday. Also, I just want to remind you that, again, Wednesday this week, uh, the Experience Live with Russ and Scott. That's every Wednesday. Uh, super excited about that. And we're taking it a little bit easier this week uh, because of the Christmas holiday. But <clears throat> I'm always here, always willing to connect with you. So I think that is about it. The comments are already blowing up. We need to bring Alex in because we're just ready to have a great time. Here he comes in the house, Mr. Alex Chambers. Hey. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me. I'm like, I'm excited. I've, <laughs> yeah, I'm... Wa I've watched so many of your shows and now I'm watching myself on your show. So. <laughs> there you go. Well, the, you're making it all that much better. So I appreciate you being here today because, you know, it's amazing what you have done in the short amount of time that you've exploded onto the scene, especially through LinkedIn and the community, online community. And now you're part of, I call it the Fab Five. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, your your show with Usama and, and Inger, Elizabeth and Aya. And what a great group. You know, you have just really, uh, really made some great connections right off the bat. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, everybody has, you know, that I've kind of connected with has influenced me a ton and impacted my life um, in such a positive way that uh, it, it's you know, it, it's reciprocated, you know, it's one of those things where I, I'm just trying to give back to the people that have given to me and it just creates that, that great relationship. So. Well, I think that's a lot of it. What it's all about is it's giving, right? I mean, this is the giving time of the year. Again, like I said, no matter what you celebrate, really giving is really um, in the forefront this time of the year, but really it should be that way year round. And when we're giving to others, our time is one of our most precious commodities. And when you're spending time with others, I think that's amazing. But hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's back up. Let's tell everybody who doesn't already know who you are, Alex, who you are, what you're up to, and why you're so amazing. <laughs> well, so yeah, my name is Alex Chambers, and I am, live in Colorado. I grew up in Wisconsin. Um, and as Russ said, I kind of exploded onto the scenes while I just kind of got involved with a lot of the live shows and watching them and just the joy that, that I kind of got, especially um, really started with uh, Kenny D showed me um, Brian and Nancy and Tim's show, uh, Shout Out Saturday. And that was really what kind of got me hooked. And then ever since then, I've just met so many incredible people and like you said, uh, we started our, our live with five show with me and Liz and uh, Aya and Usama and Inger. So it's been uh, a lot of fun. We have our second episode tomorrow, actually, which uh, is is coming up quick. So it's, it's it's all moving really fast. And I I mean, I honestly, since I started here, I my life has changed so much. I mean, I have a new job starting in January that I've been trying to get into kind of a corporate role. And I, uh, that's, that's what I finally found. And it's just been great and all the support. And I, I really think that that's a lot of it as uh, Inger says is, you know, Ubuntu, you know, uh, it's kind of all about our community and, you know, we are who we are because of who we all are. And that's really been true for me. And, uh, a lot of people come on to LinkedIn to find a job. Well, I came on to LinkedIn, I guess, you know, in a way to find a job, but I found friends and a community and a support system. And honestly, LinkedIn didn't help me get the job, but all the people that I connected with and all the, the support did help me. So in a different way than what most people think, but it, it honestly had a profound impact on me. Yeah, well, I think it's amazing what uh, we get back from the community when we give out to our community. <clears throat> I think that's what you learned right off the bat is you learned that you were giving out to others. You were supporting others. You were showing up on other shows and suddenly people were saying, Hey, we like this Alex guy. And you started really communicating, you know, that's what it's all about. It's engaging, right? Engagement, yeah. uh, building relationships. And that is, again, like I said, that's the theme of this live stream how amazing people connect because you know what 
it just takes my good friend D. Scott Smith, who, by the way, it's Scott's birthday today. Happy birthday, oh, wow. Scott. Wow, happy birthday. Woo. Yes, you don't turn 29 every day. And uh, so anyway, he, uh, he always says, you know, today, all you need to, really all it takes to do amazing things is the willingness to step forward and do it. Because there's so many, uh, so many things at our fingertips, like this media, like live streaming media, like, uh, you know, the social media that we have, like the connection tools like Zoom and all that we have weaker can be so connected and cre create so many amazing things if we're willing to do it. Right. And that's you've been mm -hmm. very willing to do that. Yeah. And, you know, I, th I think I've always been kind of extroverted and, and very comfortable with myself. Uh, but what I haven't always been good at is is you know, continuing and building those relationships. Probably I, I was orphaned at 16. I've kind of been a bit of a loner, I guess, uh, since then. And that's what, again, all these people have helped me kind of realize and help me learn again is how to be a good friend and how to really connect with people more than just uh, being in the comments. Cause you know, it started with me just in the comments and then it just kind of blossomed from there and just, continues to grow every single day so yeah well and that's just it you're allowing it to blossom because it starts somewhere and you started by giving out to others engaging with others and then they suddenly realize you know as they engage with you it's a mutually beneficial thing when you build relationships when you engage and you support each other mm -hmm. and so so give us a little snapshot about what do you want to give us a just a little snapshot of what you're going to be doing in the new year? What you're excited oh. about, or or is that a secret? Well, no, I don't think it's a secret. Uh, it, I I haven't really told everybody, but um, yeah. So it's uh, it's an order management uh, coordinator position. So it's uh, kind of in between sales and customer success, and then also fulfillment. And it's with a, a organization here in Colorado that does water testing equipment, um, water purification, those types of things. And they're a global company. So they help, uh, uh, you know, places around the globe help with their, their water purification. And so it's, it's actually a great, really good cause too. So I'm really, really actually excited about that. And there seems to be a lot of uh, potential for growth. And that's kind of one of the things that I'm really passionate about is growth and continuing to develop. And I have high goals for myself. So Hopefully this will be the the beginning uh, of, of a new chapter, I guess, for me. Well, and I think it's amazing too, because as you grow, you're able to um, uh, you're able to grow here online as well, because who knows what the future holds for you as far as the way things are going with your live streaming and all of that as well. That's a whole nother career besides what you're going into as far as your day job and who knows maybe someday this will become your job all the way around yeah yeah and uh, you know i think there's a lot of people that uh uh, Nancy said, I, I started lurking and that's, that's so true. I, she's I, a lurker too. She knows <laughs> it takes one to know one, which is a good thing. That's where she got it on the whole scene. You know, she started lurking. She and I met, she and I got involved early on and you've been the same way, just really not going away, just showing up. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's the joy that everybody brings and all, all the knowledge that you gain along the way. I mean, that's really the huge part about watching these shows for me is that I've, I've learned so many things uh, about so many different topics. And I like to, I really like to be well versed in all of those things. And um, like you yourself, even uh, you know, your sales uh, workshop that you had, you know, the, those things just, just add, add value to myself. And, and so I'm just so grateful for everybody and all the information that people give out for free. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's, stuff that I probably wouldn't have had access to if it wasn't for social media. So Right. Well, it is amazing because everybody supports and lifts each other up. And this is an amazing thing right here because, you know, just taking a look at all of the people that are excited to see you, uh, you know, that are in the comments here, it, it means a lot about how people handle themselves and how they put themselves out there to the kind of reaction you get back. People clearly love you, Alex, and think that you're awesome and are, are supportive of you and your daughter. I love when 
you have your daughter on things and you know you're doing stuff i mean it's great because you're you're a dad that's part of your life right mm -hmm. and so you you're just kind of an authentic genuine individual and people are drawn to that and i think that's going to always been no matter what you're doing that's going to always benefit you yeah yeah and i totally agree i think that's the one thing that attracts me to people too is just people being authentic and themselves and and honesty and and just you know being real about uh their situations you know nancy's whole movement of, of radiating real just attracts all these people who want to help each other and lots of lots of us have experienced things in our lives that are tough but it makes us all better people and it just really connects us all on a deeper level so yeah and i think consistency is so important like nancy says she's not only a lurker but a clinger so you gotta <laughs> you gotta keep showing up right that's what clinging is you're you're hanging on you're not going anywhere and i think that's important you know i mean today i was just talking to my fabulous outstanding she always tells me not to say this but team member that keeps me straight and that's um, ever. And she does such an incredible job, but sh we were talking about simplicity, consistency, um, so, you know, just really making the ease of, of engaging with others. Right. That's yeah. so important. And the more simple you keep things and the more you keep showing up and you just are consistent. I think that is, that is like one of the secret sauces to life. Yeah. And speaking of my daughter, she's knocking at my door. Give me oh, one, bring her one, in. One second. Yeah, you bet. No problem. We'd love to have her. Well, listen, everybody, this is what I love about live streaming. You know, it's so funny. When I originally started off <laughs> with doing live streaming and I had great guests and that had been doing this much longer than me, they um, uh, they a lot of times would have their kids photobombing them during the show. And so, okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, there she is. Hello. Yeah, she 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 hears me talking down here, and she's always always wants to know what's going on. Huh? So introduce <laughs> your daughter to everybody that doesn't know. Yes, Carter. Car so this is this is Carter. This is my daughter. She'll be five in February. So Carter, we, and actually, me me and Carter got to go meet um, Jenny Gold, who there's a uh, yeah. We had a, a lunch yesterday, uh, and Emily Harmon. So in person down in Denver, we got to meet and uh, Carter got to go and say hi. And she made uh, them some tool belts as well, like the tool belts oh. that she made for Nancy, Brian and Tim. So, yeah, she, she had a lot of fun making those and giving them. And uh, she got some cookies from Jenny as well. <laughs> wow. Do you, you love chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. They yeah. They came to visit you in Denver, huh? Uh, well, so I'm up in Fort Collins. Jenny's in Denver, and Emily's from Virginia, but her daughter's right. in Denver, and she's uh, visiting there. So we all just kind of met together down at uh, it's called the Stanley Marketplace. I had not not been there before, but uh, it was it was really fun. It was, and and that's part of the really you know connecting and really building friendships is that it kind of goes beyond. Um, beyond the the screen if you can i mean obviously we all we all can't all the time but if we can it really um helps helps build that connection and i'll tell you a funny story i found myself as i was sitting there and talking with them i found myself uh kind of as if i was watching them on a screen and then like would have to catch myself and be like oh wait you're like in a conversation with them <laughs> and not just watching them <laughs> it's live it's live yeah you yeah. know actually i encourage people i've seen so many great people i know that nancy and brian got together and tim and every and people that have jumped in that have known each other online but have really gotten out there to meet each other in person and what I, I'm really looking forward to doing in the new year is I'm going to, in in my area between, I live in Salem, Oregon, but there's people that I've never met in Portland and Vancouver and Olympia, Washington, all this within like a couple hours of each other. And I'm going to put together some things where we actually get together and meet. And these are people that I've done a lot with, but have never met in person other than, I mean, I've met, but you know what I mean? Uh, where you're not just staring at them on a screen and <laughs> right. it's fun to be able to do that. I can't wait to be able to do some more traveling and uh, really get to meet people. And Alex, when I'm in Denver, I'll swing in, we can have coffee. 
yeah that'd be that'd be awesome it'd be great and uh i i'm i'm just so excited and and happy for kind of how my life has changed in the positive uh, right. o- over these last few months and it's all because of the support system that uh from all of you who have really embraced me as well i, I know you say you know i kind of i've given a lot as far as time but uh you know just that embrace that everybody has it's just it's it's so great yeah no i i uh i just think that the more we can do to engage the better and um so tell me a little bit i love what you have here let me actually get this up here empower lead inspire and grow mm-hmm. on your linkedin i that just really spoke to me um because i i just like that people need to feel empowered uh we're all leaders within one way or another we all you know have influence on other people we all can inspire people i'm all about that and grow you know and and you personally are 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 experiencing this mm-hmm. how do you want to share that with others yeah i think it's you know it's whatever we can do at the time whether it is our our time itself uh to support other people um but also feedback is huge in that, um, you know, giving honest, honest feedback. And you know, one of the things that I've, I've kind of taken on too, is I'm part of a board of a, a, a nonprofit in, in Uganda called She Unit Uganda, where they actually em- empower women to entrepreneurship. And uh, that's kind of also brought in a, a new perspective for me, uh, because, uh, you know, it's an underdeveloped country. And They'll expect, particularly the women don't often have a chance to really fulfill their potential in life. And I think that's, that's really what it's about is fulfilling your potential. And to do that, you have to feel empowered. You have to, you know, have people that inspire you or that can help you and you, you need to continue to grow and you really need all of those things to become the best version of yourself and become the, the, yeah, Carter's mommy's home. Uh, (laughs) become the best best version of yourself and and really um fulfill your potential because that's that's what it's all about is fulfilling our potential and the closer we can get to that you know i don't know that any of us will actually ever fully fulfill our potential because i think everyone's potential is so high Uh, and you know there's not enough not enough hours in the day (laughs) to really fulfill it all the way but the closer we can get you know uh as they say you know shoot for the stars if you if you land on the moon you still did a good job and yeah but uh really really set those those goals high for yourself yeah well this is what i love what you just said and that is you know we had a mic drop here from nancy um and really what it's all about is fulfilling your potential and being the best you you can be. And this is what I think people get off track sometimes today. They're trying to be somebody else. They're trying to be people. There's a lot of people living someone else's life. Mm -hmm. They're not doing what they want to do or they're passionate about. They're doing what they think they're supposed to do or what others have told them they're supposed to do. And this is why I think it's so important that people need to identify their passion and purpose why do they get up in the morning and then move forward and live their life? Yeah. Um, you know, I was talking to a, a young man here in Oregon and encouraging him because he wants to get into a new area and do some production and with products and different stuff. Very excited. But he has to work some other jobs to make money to do that. And I was encouraging him. That's all good when it's working towards a goal. But don't forsake what you really want to do just to make money. Right. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of ways to make money and to support your family. And we all have to, we all have to support our families, but I think it's so important to stay on track with what you're really, really, really passionate about. Don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, that's something that I, in a way, learned the hard way. Um, I, I've definitely, you know, as, as a orphan at 16, I've kind of been on my own. I've had to support myself and, and money has been a big part of that. And it's, it has in a way directed me through certain parts of my life, but there's definitely times where I've kind of forgot about my goals and I've let myself, uh, just kind of fall into that just living and getting by as opposed to, you know, 
getting by and living for a reason, for a purpose and for an end goal. And that's, that's another thing that just as my kind of confidence and comfort with myself has kind of progressed and blossomed through um, the support of the community that I I've kind of realized again, like, wow, I, I used to have all these big goals for myself and, and I kind of just let them go for a while. And uh, really getting back on track with that has helped me a lot too. And it's, it's invigorated me. Like you said, it, it makes you, helps you get up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, there, you can't just let things go by and think, well, I'll get to it at some point, or that's a future thing. And, you know, I can't really do that now. Here's the challenge that every, that I want to challenge everybody with. And that is live your life. Now you're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not guaranteed a half hour from now, live your life now and, and get out there and do now what you want to do because now is the time to make an impact, not later. Not don't live on yesterday. Don't live for tomorrow. Live for now. And um, you know, uh, you said it perfectly. I love anybody who doesn't know Stephen Curtis Chapman. Should incredible recording artist. Um, there's more to this life than living and dying. More than just making it through the day. One of his songs, "More to This Life," and it's so true. There's more than just living and dying and just getting by. Uh, there we can get out there and make a really impact and being significant uh, Alex you've already been very significant in the lives of many people um, just by being you and engaging with them and it means a lot to people it means a lot to Nancy and to Jenny and to Liz and to uh, Inger all the people that are in the comments right now you know it means a lot to them and I think that's super important that uh, you keep that up because you are your secret sauce, right? Yeah, it's true. You are. That's people constantly say to me, well, how, well, how do I differentiate myself? Well, I can tell you how be you because yeah. nobody else can be you. Right. And, and you know, the old phrase, everybody else is taken, <laughs> you know, and speaking of inspiring people, and, you know, jumping in, Inger's in the house. She came in to say uh, hi. Uh, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I, oh, gosh. Oh, my heart. <laughs> yes. We, we, Inger's a little surprise visit. How's it going, oh. Inger? Good, thank you. How about you guys? Good. 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 We're just having fun. Even better now uh, <laughs> with you here. Just. I oh. wasn't going to come, but. I thought, you know what, like I can just take a few minutes and, and say <laughs> hi quickly. Just, yeah, just, I I mean, I know we, we, all, we talk and, and just all, you know, Ubuntu, it's so, it's so true, like our community and yeah. we are because of, of who we all are. And yes. uh, you, you've been so, so impactful for me. And honestly, all these people who are in the comments right now have impacted me so much and uh here's an interesting story so they say you know you're the you're the average of the five people that you're the closest with right yeah well if we go back to when i was in high school and that, after my mom passed and i became an orphan uh the five people that i was closest to we have a couple of them have been to prison a couple of them have been in jail um we got drug problems alcohol uh all, all these issues and some of those things I, I struggled with for a while and really as I've embraced all of you all um, in my life now the five people that are closest to me are people that I've met in this community and they're they're you all are successful and you have goals and you're trying to accomplish things and it's just empowered me and my life has changed so so dramatically just from that alone and i feel like that average uh, uh my average has just raised so much higher because of you all so well you know um you speak about impact that we've made on you you've made an impact on us that's why every one of us is there in the comments here to support you right because you've made an impact i remember the first time i actually um was introduced to you like via a live stream. And I remember your story and it really touched me. So you need to know that you are making an impact too. Well, thank you. And it, it means a lot. And that's 
um, you know, like you say, you just want to have a positive impact on, yeah. on people's lives. And um, as Brian, Brian says, you know, he just wants to positively impact one person every day. I think that's something that a lot of us really want to do is just impact other people. And it's, uh, it, it's great to hear it. I know sometimes you got like us deflectors like Tim and, and Liz too <laughs> that try to deflect it, but uh, we, we, we all, all do it. You know, we all really yeah. want to help each other and, and it, it helps us feel good too, you know? Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know, it's amazing because I couldn't agree with you more, Alex, that, you know, we are the average of the five people closest to us and we have maybe a few more than just five, but I keep raising the level because of you guys. I keep raising the level because of the people that I am hanging around with. And maybe my five grows to 10, 20, 30, whatever, but I'm surrounding myself with amazing people. And when I say that, I mean, Liz is always kidding me and eager that I'm always saying amazing and awesome, but it's true. I mean, I'm hanging around with amazing, awesome people. I'm choosing that, you know, I'm, you know, me, I'm all about live the life you choose. I'm choosing this life because just like I choose my beautiful, wonderful wife and family, and I'm going to spend more time with this week. I choose that. I choose who I hang around with with my friends and you guys are amazing. And you have made a crazy good impact, Alex, in a short amount of time, more than you know. Yes. Well, well, thank you. And I I honestly, it's got to be, I got to be doing something right. Because when, you know, Inger came to me and was like, hey, what, what, what do you guys think about doing a live show together? I was like, me like me <laughs> what, what do you what do you want me in there for <laughs> so, uh, i'm still i'm still reeling that i was left out but it's okay i'm, I'm getting over it it's fine it's love, I, I know that six is too many you know that's all right <laughs> <laughs> we love you russ we do i know it I'm, just been, I'm having fun no it's uh no it is uh something that everybody that watching should learn from that. I mean, a lot of people watching already know this, but should learn from, and that is engaging and just being there, just showing up. And I think, um, you know, there's so many people, Tim talks about Tim Sohn, Nancy, Brian, a lot of people talk about just showing up and just being there, just showing up. I mean, being part of things, it's, it's, it's amazing what a critical impact in a good way that can be on people just showing up. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, well Inger, I know you got to go, so I'm going to let you pop out. Thanks so thank much. You. I'm going to give you an out. So thanks. <laughs> a good one, guys. Thank you. Well, I thank you for coming in. Good You're welcome. You. Bye. Yeah, well, I thought I'd throw a little surprise in there, but uh, yeah, Inger's another one that's just done amazing things. She's impacted people. She was supporting other people, and then just kind of burst onto the scene and. It just shows by just showing up and just being engaged and active, what a difference that makes in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. And she just did a boot camp about LinkedIn and kind of the, doing that, uh, building that community. I unfortunately couldn't be there, but uh, hopefully I'll catch the next one. But yeah, yeah. though it's, it, it was good. I was there uh, at least oh, for, yeah. at least for a good share of it. Yeah. It was yeah. very good. And you know, that's the thing too. The reason people go to stuff like that and the reason I went to it, it's because I want to support her. It doesn't mean it's not good, but I mean, I intentionally want to go also because I want to support people. You came intentionally to support me on one of my workshops. Inger has done that on a couple of my workshops too. And what that does is that you reciprocate helping and supporting each other and then, you know, uh, helping get each other out there in a positive way. You know, that's like you said, it's when you're in this community that's how you build your life, not just your business. I mean, it does definitely helps build your business, but it helps build your life. Yeah. Well, and then as you build your life, your the business comes with it too, especially if you are your business, like like you had mentioned earlier, you know. Yeah. So it's it's really powerful. Um, really powerful to just be around and be supportive of other people. I mean, it, it makes you feel good too. At least it makes me feel good to, to support other people and um, just to see the impact that it's had on me in, in, in such a profound way in such a, you know, short amount of time is, is just a testament to that. So. Yeah. Well, this is what 
I want to wrap up today because I've let it go over because I love talking to you, Alex. You're, you're a great guy and I appreciate you spending time today. But I wanted to say to everybody that impact the lives of those around you. Be a positive influence. You know, we can all tear people down or we can build them up. And if we spent more time just building others up, thinking less about ourselves and thinking more about how we can impact others positively, it all comes back to impact us positively. It all does. And so life is much better when you have a happy, growing, engaged community around you. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's been great. During COVID, it was a saving grace for me because I am a per people person. I'm a hugger. I am a love to see everybody. I love to be around, a, uh, you know, thousands of people kind of guy. And when COVID hit and I was stuck basically in my, well, my computer, <laughs> I got really engaged. And really, because there was so many people like you, Alex, and so many people like Inger and Liz and Jenny and everybody on the show today, that I was able to, um, I was able to keep going and it fed my personality and it fed my uh, soul really in a positive way. And so I just want to encourage everybody, continue to meet in person when you can, to continue to build community online, continue to do amazing things and all that you're doing. And Alex, I'm expecting great, great things from you uh, today and in the future. Um, so thank you so much. Well, thank you. And like I said, I, I, I shoot for the shoot for the star. So that you got to have got to have high goals and uh, do whatever we can daily to try to reach those. Yeah. And hey, you're not that far away. Really, Denver's not that far from Oregon. So that that might be an easier uh, stop at some point in the near future. I definitely want to do some traveling. My son's band, one of my uh, bands that my son plays in is playing in Houston after the first of the year. And I might actually go down to Houston and see a couple of people I know there and watch my son. I'll uh, see how that all goes. Kenny's but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. I'm Kenny. trying to coordinate some things, whether they're with family or work and family. I, my real goal is to be able to travel with my beautiful wife, do a little bit of work and then spend time just enjoying people and enjoying, you know, the time together. Uh, that's what I would love to do. So, um, okay. Well, listen, Elizabeth is proud of you. We're going to wrap this up and we're going to let you give everybody last word, Alex, and how to get in touch with you. Yeah. Well, so you can get in touch with me just on LinkedIn. I mean, that's, that's the only platform I'm on. And I guess, you know, for last words uh, uh, in relevance to our conversation today is, is just, just show up, just be yourself, uh, be authentic and and care for other people cuz they they want to care for you too. So if you show up and you care for them, you're going to build a great community and and you're going to just it's going to fill your heart more than you even know. Yeah. Yes, for sure. And I want everybody to know that not only has it been scrolling across the bottom of the screen but now it's in the comments as well. It's also in the show notes how to get in touch with Alex and you know, I encourage everybody reach out, get in touch with Alex, really. Uh, be learn to build authentic relationships with people that are authentic like Alex. And uh, I appreciate you so much again today. You and I, I always tell everybody I'm a connector for life. So you're my friend for life. And, and you've been in the short amount of time we've known each other, Alex. I feel like we've known each other much longer. You're a great yeah. friend. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you as well. And that's why I, I'm, I love love supporting you but also the content i love learning too so um but i i couldn't agree more and it's reciprocated you know i i you're a great friend already in my life and you you're you're another one of those that is just raising my average you know just ra raising my average up so yeah well you know i always say that i married way up with my beautiful wife <laughs> and which i did way up and i <laughs> you might have to and, teach me how to do that <laughs> yeah. and i also though have raised my life and raised the bar because of great friends so thanks again uh i have gone way over but I, it's been so much fun i appreciate you it's been fun that anger got to drop in and say hi yeah have a blessed day hang tight in the green room alex and i'll be right with you okay all right all right bye hey everybody thanks so much wow I, you know, I can't even begin to say, I know I always say it, wow, it's amazing, but it is. I get to do the greatest job ever. Uh, and this being a big part of my life, 
uh, being able to do some great live streaming and connect with people. And not only am I blessed through it, but I'm able to reach out and try to bless and encourage other people. I hope that we encourage you today. I, I was encouraged. I know Alex added value to me and I'm sure he did to you. Um, and so if you want to reach out to him, get a, uh, send a friend request, a connection link on LinkedIn, reach out to Alex, find out about all the amazing things he's doing. And I know that you will be blessed. I just want to remind you all that I am available at RussHedge.com. Number one, I just want to get to know you. That's all I want. I, I don't ever have to sell you anything or do anything. I just want to get to know you. So connect with me at RussHedge.com. If I could be of help in marketing or connecting or whatever, I would love to do that. I'm in, a, in, in the first of the year, I'm going to be running my um, how to uh, monetize your live stream in five simple steps. And um, so if you are interested in checking that out, that would be great. And now I can't remember, was it five simple steps or three simple steps? Anyway, how to monetize your live stream. There you go. <laughs> and so it's simple. I do know that. Simple, simple. Um, but no, I, I would love to help you out with that. And um, so if you're interested in that, check that out coming in the first of the year. And don't forget, Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie, this Thursday Christmas special. Be there. So many friends are going to jump in. We're going to have so much fun. Be there this Thursday. And until we see you again or until we see you Thursday, have a great day and a great life. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.